Hi, I'm Kelsey Wilson, Division Director of Communications for the Knox County Health Department. For this week's video, I want to start out by acknowledging the increase in deaths that we've seen over recent weeks. Sadly, we have crossed yet another milestone, more than 800 deaths among Knox Countyans since the pandemic began. Our hearts continue to go out to those who have lost a loved one. Now, while we are still seeing cases trend down, deaths are being reported to us in record numbers. We believe that these deaths correlate to the high case increases that we saw a few weeks ago. Now, deaths are what we call a lagging indicator, which means that it takes time for people to contract the virus, then to become sick enough to go to the hospital and later die. Now, with cases trending down, we do hope to see the number of deaths decrease as well. But in the meantime, please continue to practice the five core actions. This is incredibly important to keep yourself and those around you safe and healthy. Now for this week's video, we are talking about booster doses. Last week, the CDC issued new recommendations for a Pfizer booster vaccine among certain populations. With the Delta variants dominance across the country, this booster shot will help strengthen protection against severe disease and those who are at high risk for exposure or complications from COVID-19. Now it's important to recognize that this is for the Pfizer vaccine only. Pfizer, as you'll remember, was the first vaccine to be authorized and therefore its data on ongoing effectiveness was also available first. Now we understand that Moderna and Johnson and Johnson are submitting their data to receive authorization to administer booster doses in the near future. But for the time being, the only booster shot that is currently available is for the Pfizer vaccine and individuals must have received the Pfizer primary series at least six months prior to receiving this booster dose. Now let's talk about who qualifies for this booster dose. People ages 65 and older and residents in long term care settings should receive a booster shot. People ages 50 to 64 with underlying medical conditions should also receive a booster shot. People ages 18 to 49 years old with underlying medical conditions may receive a booster shot based on their individual benefits and risks. And people ages 18 to 64 years old who are at increased risk for COVID-19 exposure and transmission because of occupational or institutional settings, so basically where you live or where you work, may receive a booster dose based on their individual benefits and risks. Those who are eligible may receive their booster dose at the Knox County Health Department. You can make an appointment by calling our public information line at 865-215-5555. And you can also receive the vaccine at other locations across the county. Other vaccine providers offering the Pfizer vaccine can be found by visiting www.vaccines.gov. You do not need to prove your diagnosis or your health condition to be eligible to receive this vaccine. However, we do ask that you please bring your vaccination card so our team can ensure that you previously received the Pfizer vaccine. If you don't have that vaccination card available, our team can look up your vaccination record prior to administering that booster dose. If you have questions or concerns about receiving the booster dose, please chat with your primary care provider. Those are the folks that know your medical history the best and will be able to answer your questions and address your concerns. And while the news of this booster dose approved for folks who are at higher risk of severe disease is incredibly encouraging, we also cannot forget about the folks in our community who haven't received the vaccine at all. Bottom line, the vaccines work. The COVID-19 vaccines continue to be remarkably effective in reducing the risk of severe disease, hospitalization, and death, including against the Delta variant. We continue to see highly effective protection against hospitalizations and severe outcomes for people who are fully vaccinated. For those who have not yet had this life-saving protection, please, please have a conversation with your medical provider. The COVID vaccine is widely accessible and is the best tool that we have at ending this pandemic. So let's use it. And in the meantime, please remember to practice the five core actions. These are the steps that we can take right now to reduce the spread of disease and protect ourselves and our loved ones. Thanks for watching. And as always, please be kind to one another. We'll see you next week.